Hi guys. <laughs> it's Diana Gray, back with another episode of Had Full Boyfriend Blind. Last time, we started the Fill the Promise ending, and we got all the way up to this point. I'm really confused by what's going on, but I'll try and summarize. So basically, we went through the story as normal, and then one day we got this new day where Ryota went missing, and that was weird, and then... The next thing we know, we're playing as Ryota, and Diana's missing. And it's just like, wait a minute, I thought it was the other way around, but whatever. So Kazuaki asked us to go get this box from the teacher's room, and we brought the box back, and the box has blood on it now. And I left you guys on the cliffhanger of what's inside the box, I'm sorry, I'm a terrible person. But I mean, if it helps, I don't know what's inside the box, so I've been suffering just as much as you have. So without any further ado, I'd say let's find out what's inside the box. Yep, there is. There's blood leaking through a corner of the box. I feel sick. Reminder, this is Ryota, in case you didn't see the name over there. But I reach out and open the lid anyway. Inside the box... is a... human... head. Uh... What? The eyes are glassy. But even like this, I still wreck- Oh no! <laughs> She wasn't late. She was here all along. You guys, that's me! It's... It can't... What? Wait. What? What's going on? Why did it do that? <laughs> it, it's... Hi, Sakia. How's it going? Looking will only hurt you. <laughs> oh. Emergency alert. Emergency alert. We have entered a state of emergency. All students, please evacuate to the gymnasium. Repeat, we have entered. I don't know, Okusan. I really don't know why everything's... Whoa. Whoa. That siren is really weird. I don't know. Yeah, okay. I guess Saki has a point here. Yeah, you, I, Ryota needs somebody to help him through my death, let's be honest. <laughs> oh god, he's, so, he's such a good friend. I'm dead, Ryota. No, I don't want to leave Diana here alone. It's my head. I, I'm pretty sure I'm gone. Saki is right on this one. <laughs> oh god. It can't be. Yeah, we need Saki at this point to kind of just help Ryota along. I think Saki is the best person for the job, to be honest. Whoa, this is weird. By the time we arrived, the gym was already crowded with students and teachers. Okay, that alarm is really annoying. No one seems to know what's going on, though. The gym echoes with whispered speculation. Hey, did you see the box? Stop talking about my box! Yeah, you had that, too? Well, the class rep opened it and I didn't see it, but- Wait, there are more? There's multiple? Apparently there was a human arm- OH MY GOD! I got cut up? And I don't put it in all the boxes? Well, good thing Ryota picked up the one with the head or no one would have known where I was. Oh, no. Ours had half a leg. It was really gross. From the snatches of conversation I hear, it sounds like all the print boxes had pieces of a human corpse in them. Were they all pieces of Diana, I wonder? Nobody seems particularly concerned. Wow, you guys are all jerks. Which isn't all that odd. It was grotesque, but it's not like it was a dead bird. Racism much? Just some primate. Wow, thanks guys. I don't know. Yeah, this isn't a drill. This is like a real thing right now. Hey, don't call my box distasteful. Saki's just fed up with the whole thing right now. Yeah. Someone, tell me what's going on. This is a bad dream, right? Someone wake me up. Someone. Oh no, Ryota! I always liked you. You were one of my fi- Whoa. Whoa. What? What was that? Hello? Hi? Whoa! Whoa, excuse me. Sir, who are you? I have never seen you before in my life. You have a weird bill. And very colorful feathers. Oh, he's the headmaster. Hi, how you doing? The headmaster? See, <laughs> I mean, you know, I've been panicking over here, but nobody cares about me. 
a natural disaster outside. The school is a designated evacuation site, so please remain here. Yeah, what's up, man? No, yeah, there was nothing. <laughs> no volcanoes, no earthquakes. Yeah, seriously. What is going on outside? Hey, thanks for bringing me up, Sakia. Yeah, I know. I repeat, there has been a... No, <laughs> Saki is gonna, like, throw down right now. What was that? Oh, so that was, like, a, a television screen? That was that thingy back there? Okay, gotcha. I am filled in. The gymnasium erupts in whispered discussion once more. Well, that changed nothing. I still have no idea what's going on. No, he's not alright! I'm not alright! Nobody is alright! I'm sure all of you out there are not alright. Unless you knew this was coming. In which case, you guys are all jerks. But thank you for not telling me. <laughs> no, um, yes, I am. Oh, really? Really? I- no, this is a great day. What are you talking about? Could prove to be. It already is. Okasan! You were a jerk! No, 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 Okasan! I'm dead. San, no, she's. San is an older breed, much closer to the pigeons of the human era. Maybe he doesn't understand the concept of death. I'm trying to explain would only hurt myself. Oh, God, you guys. I can't. This is too sad. Yeah, I mean, I guess not. This is kind of a thing. I agree with San. Let's go get Diana. Wait, yeah, Ryota, I'm totally dead right now. I don't know what you're talking about. True? I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with me. Sir, we can't just leave her there like that. May I go back to the classroom just once? Yeah, no, he didn't. We can go. I'm com- Oh, we're all going together! All of the boys love me. Yeah, I'm weirdly flattered, even though I'm dead, so it's like, eh, but it's nice. <laughs> thanks, Sakia. Alright. Oh, thanks, Sakia. You know, you're, just, you're such a great person, too. Haven't you ever heard of Don't Speak Ill of the Dead? I just died. That is true. Oh, it's like cute, but also like, oh, like sad, I think. Oh, alright, Briota gets demoted to assistant just because. That sounds familiar. Right. And so I exited the gymnasium in Sakia's majestic wake. I want to. I want to know what happened to Diana. Who did that to her, and why? Can evacuation possibly have nothing to do with her? Why wouldn't the headmaster explain anything? My head was a raging whirlpool of questions and no answers, and I did not yet know what we would find. Whoa, whoa. What? What is this? I don't know, it's dark. A wall? A huge, gray... <laughs> that is completely unintentional. Whoa. What had been a clear autumn sky is now blocked off by dull gray. We're not at my house. Turn off the wind. It's dark. Almost like the sun has already gone down. Well, because there's a ceiling, guys. Yeah. Like, look, you can't see the sky anymore. What? When did they do this and how? Yeah, that's true. We don't know if that had already happened on the way here. Also true. Maybe this is some sort of sh He did say this was a natural disaster. Maybe this is some sort of shield? Yep, pretty much. Maybe they didn't give the headmaster the details to avoid causing a panic? Yeah, that's true, man. You should go talk to this headmaster. Is I don't know. Is there really a natural disaster? Either way, we don't know if there's a connection between what happened to Diana and all of this. Let's go to the classroom and then tell Mr. Nanaki about the dome thing. Very well. I'm afraid we're gonna find something bad. Like, I'm really scared. Okay? Looks like the other classes left there as they, as they were as well. They're at the teacher's desks. Is everybody else planning to stay in the gym? <laughs> oh. 
I'm sorry. Okay. The box is still where I left it. Inside is... I can't. Sakiya, I'm sorry. Could you... What is this madness? There's nothing here. You guys, my zombie, I'm not okay with that. <laughs> what? I don't like it. Th that can't be right. We left it right here. Oh, the box is gone. The whole box. I blame the doctor. The doctor took my head. It's not like it got up and moved on its own, is it? Everyone else's was there. Why would they only take this one? That's true. Exactly, Sakia. It's the doctor. Oh, oh, hi, baby! Are you going to avenge my death? Uh, I mean, it's kind of like a mutual thing, but alright. How cruel. Oh, God, he's so cute. I think he'd act like that regardless of the circumstances, Yuya. <laughs> His expression clouds. It's strange. I've never seen him with any expression other than carefree cheerfulness before. Because he loved me, just like everyone else in this school. Yes. Do you know something about all this, Yuya? Seriously, actually, this is probably what we're gonna find out what Yuya's up to. We kinda got a teaser in his ending, but... Well, most of this business is still a mystery, but I can at least answer the question with right now. The- yeah, like, where did I go? Uh huh. Corpses don't disappear. That's true. Unless they become zombies. The other infirmary. Oh, alright. They took me. What for? That's true. That's a good that's good thinking. Oh! Can you do an autopsy on someone who's chopped up? So, you know, there's two things going on at once here. The only human in the school is cut up and distributed to the rest of the school, and now there's some natural disaster happening. I imagine you're wondering if there isn't a connection between the two. We are, but we haven't found anything. Yeah, you, you, when you... Okay, so he doesn't know anything yet. Alright. Wait! Are we... No! Is this Shu? I don't trust him with my autopsy, you, you, you get back there! The doctor, what him? Oh, uh, no. Of course not. I, I don't want to think about what he might do to her. He might even have... You spec the doctor. Thank you, Ryota. Ryota's the only one with common sense here right now. Yes, everybody knows he's in that case. He probably killed her for some crazy experiment. That's true, but... Thank you, Ryota. Thank you, Yuya. Thank you for backing us up here. Oh, good. Nanaki will take care of it things. He'll he'll make sure it's it's straight. Alright, we'll go later. So Diana has been gathered in the chemistry lab, and the doctor and Mr. Nanaki are examining her now. Mr. Nanaki might not be the best witness, but he's better than no one, right? Yeah, but why are you what are you doing here? Oh, alright. That makes sense. Shut up, Sakia. He's trying to investigate my death. Oh, yeah, I guess. I don't know, we were just kind of chilling. Personally, I think the murder and the evacuation are almost certainly connected. Yes. Yes. So, Ryota. Y yeah. I know you feel. You want to find the one who did this to Diana as soon as possible, right? Yes. Black screen! Do I have to oh, Diana! Sorry, I didn't know how to push the enter button there. Gone for a moment, and suddenly she's turned into this. Who did that to her? I'll find them, and I'll... I'm going to find the culprit, and I'll... I'll... I've never felt this emotion before, but now I feel nothing else. Oh, God. When I find that bird, I'll... My thoughts exactly. <laughs> you, you, we don't even have to say anything. You, you knows. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, let's... That sounds like a good plan. It could. That's true. Okay, thanks, Yuya. Thanks for the talk. Sakia, stop. 
Sakuya. Thanks, Yuya. We'll do our best to help. Oh, one other thing. You might want to talk to One in the maintenance office. Tell him I sent you. You mean the antisocial cockatiel? Cock cock dandy everybody hates? Him. Don't worry, he's a good guy. Oh, if you remember, we, I think we've seen him once before, actually, during Yuya's ending. Yuya was talking to him, and I th I'm thinking he's a secret agent, maybe, like Yuya is, or whatever. I'm able to help you, and you might find something useful there. <laughs> he just called himself a talking mom. He saunters off towards the staircase. Oh, shut up, Sakuya, he helped. He gave us some good advice, right? We should be grateful. Anyway, I don't think we'll find anything else here. Hmm. Or by investigating the wall. Right. Let's go to the office first. Maybe this one guy will be able to help us. Ooh, new music. This is cool music. I doubt we'll find anything useful there. But you just said to go, so we should go. Now oh, come on, Sakuya! Jeez, is there anything to say about your own brother? You should be nicer to your family. Oh, whoa. My family? He, it's totally your brother. Whoa, calm down. I guess his elitism is still running business as usual. We don't have time to waste. We should hurry. The maintenance room is in the corner of the main building on the ground floor. That was cool music, man. I liked it. <laughs> Hello? Excuse us. This doesn't look very educational. Look at that. Look at that pigeon on the wall. <laughs> it's being like, I don't know what that's doing. It's kind of creepy. The handyman pretty much lives in here, I think. Oh, hello! A dove, and one more. Mr. One, hello! Some papers just fell off my desk. Ironically enough, it's the walkthrough for Hatsuful Boyfriend. <laughs> what are you doing here? Didn't you hear the alarm? I'm Ryota, and this is Sakia. We got permission from our teacher to investigate the building. <laughs> Did you hear the alarm? Good point, why are you here? Why are you criticizing us? Alright, that sounds good. Whoa, somehow he seems really cool. <laughs> Another explanation. Okay, well, we're not gonna do that. We actually have some questions for you. No, we're not. No, Sakia, calm down. Um, Yuya said we should ask you for help. Yes, Sakazaki Yuya. Yes, him. <laughs> Alright. So Sakia, I, I swear, you gotta calm down, man. Sakia, where the heck are your manners? Yeah, uh, sorry, he transferred from overseas and his Japanese isn't too great. Yeah, probably. I can definitely see that being true. Oh, cool. Thank you for being very nice to us. And. Ooh, jamming. Brown, brown. Well, we, I don't, two things. The murder of Grey Diana and the mysterious wall outside. You've been in here the whole time, right? Do you know what he's talking about? Oh, so you came to see him earlier. Uh, Sakia! Okay, so he'll be able to help us with the school. My job is to take care of the entire campus. Maybe you know what the big gray wall outside is then? Wow, this new music is loud. Nope. <laughs> Sakia! Sakia, calm down! Though, I'm not sure there's anything we can learn here right now. Oh, wait. M Mr. Only, can we use your computer? Maybe we can find out what's going on outside. No? Everything's been cut off since this morning. Even the telephone wires. <laughs> this is too thorough. I can't think of any reason why they need to cut communication systems off if it were some sort of storm protection. Uh, Sakia? Wait. I have a bright and massive piece of advice for us. Bright and massive? Like, what? You get stuck, try the headmaster's office. You've been everywhere in the school, been ever there. You might be able to find something out about the wall if you check in there. Oh, cool! Yeah. Then he might still be there. Asking him certainly seems like the best way to get some solid information. We should try that. Okay, thank you. Thanks, man. I'll give you some notes. If you find anything, you can come write it down. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Thank you, Mr. Lone. We can come back here later. For now, we should check the lab or the wall. 
after those two, we can try the headmaster's office. Oh, no, it's a decision. It's a decision. Um, oh, okay. I don't want to leave you guys in another cliffhanger again. I'm going to go to the lab. I want to see, I, I don't trust you. Oh, whoa. Okay. I don't trust you with my body, and this needs to be resolved right now. Excuse us. It's always been one of the gloomier parts of the school, but today the lab is downright depressing. Oh, hey, Kazuaki. Sir, thank you for being with Diana now. Of course. Thank you. Like, seriously, I do not trust a doctor alone with my body. It is not cool. The doctor is lining the pieces of Diana up on one of the lab benches. Oh, God. Oh, get out of my face. Yeah, I will glower at you. I'll glower at you all I want. I don't like you. I'm not glowering at you. Oh, don't use that word. He gives me an evil smile. No, that's not it. I just wish we had a doctor who wasn't this malicious. <laughs> yeah, let's just get straight to the point here. Not yet. Oh, I'm gonna just finish this something. Oh, God. Oh. It'll take some time. I'll send word to you when I've finished. Oh, were we supposed to go to the other place first? Oops. Come, Kawada. Right. Bye, jerk. Oh, oh. Yes, hi. What's up? Yes. Allow me to give you a hint. Uh, yeah, I do. I shall leave it up to you whether you decide to believe me or not. Anyway, I think you've missed something very important. What? One might say that you have forgotten something. Perhaps you should bear that in mind. You're just a little bit off. But I'm sure you'll find the answer yourself if you keep looking. Isn't it beautiful? The sound of your life crumbling. Oh, you... Uh, I wasn't gonna swear. I said I wasn't gonna swear. It does not sweet to your taste. <laughs> he was rather fond of the unusual himself. A pity. He? Oh, no. Oh, no. Right. Thanks, Doctor. I don't like him. I don't... He's definitely enjoying himself. What a psycho. What did he mean when he said I was missing something? Or maybe he was just trying to lead me astray? Better not to worry about it for the time being. Oh, we're still here. I was just giving him a little emotional support and encouragement. Like heck you were. I see. That's good then. Yeah, really. Kazuaki's gonna beat you up. If he doesn't fall asleep first. He'll probably fall asleep first, but if he doesn't, he'll beat you up. Step outside once more. Alright, before we investigate the wall, I think I'm going to end this off here. We got actually a lot done in this episode. And now I'm dead. And I'm sad. But, if there's anyone I trust with solving my murder investigation, it's these guys. So, I know they'll get something done. And they'll beat up the doctor for me when he tries to do something inappropriate to my body. Ugh, that's just wrong on so many levels. Next time, we'll investigate the wall. We'll probably go to the headmaster's office and see what he's up to, because he's pretty shady right now. And maybe we'll find out what's going on here with this natural disaster. What could possibly be going on outside this wall? I have no idea. This has been a... Oh, I can't even right now. Like, I think I'm in shock. I haven't exactly processed. But... I'll stop rambling. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you all next time. Or rather, Diana won't, because she's dead. Whatever. Bye!